Libra Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see who's coming into your life next. Okay, so we want to focus on your next major relationship. Not your next fling, but you know, the next person that's going to enter into your life whom you potentially might settle down with. Um, whether this might be a new energy, an old energy returning, what will the future of this relationship be like? You know, just any messages that are coming in around this specific energy. I also want to mention there's going to be an extension link. So, sorry, there's going to be an extension to this specific reading, and that's going to be provided you via, provided to you via the link below. Okay. Um, also, I do offer personalized tarot readings. If you're interested in a personalized reading, please feel free to connect. Otherwise, let's go ahead. Give the cards a shuffle and let's begin. So, who is coming into your life next? Okay, and what would they be like? What will the future of this connection be like? Oops. Got a lot of major arcana cards so far here. Okay, bottom of the deck, the Eight of Cups. someone you know it feels like this is this person is still connected to you energetically or at least emotionally here it is an energy that feels like they've let you down here it, it feels like this person has disappointed you maybe they've betrayed your trust they've really let you down i don't think there's malicious motivation behind them letting you down but it just feels like something didn't necessarily transpire the way you wanted it to go you know those visions that you've had for one another and for the future of this connection the very things you always spoke about here that didn't necessarily that didn't necessarily happen something here i feel like has maybe ended the connection abruptly put that in view here eight of cups maybe this is an energy that's walked away from you maybe they've made the decision but it feels like it's a painful sad decision it feels like there's a lot of sadness here in this energy so even though you guys parted ways neither of you were truly happy about this decision i feel like both of you were really hurt and both of you felt really let down by your circumstances or by what has happened here the i feel like you're still very much thinking about this person and this person is still very much thinking about you I do feel like just because there might be a separation or a disconnection between the two of you, it doesn't necessarily mean that this is the end. Although it might feel like this is someone who's pulled away from you and someone who's turned their back on you, and the, although it might feel like this is the ending, it's just, I know it can be really hard for you to see that, to see otherwise from this vantage point, but it feels like they will be coming back to you in, in a very big way as well. And with the Five of Cups, all is not lost. Again, you can't see it from this, you know, from this perspective because you're so fixated on what's happened in the past or, you know, both, both of you. You're so worked up about what went wrong, okay, on how things didn't, you know, um, unfold the way you wanted them to unfold. You're so fixated in the past that you're not able to see that behind you, you know, the Two of Cups presumably presumably they're still full those chalices so all is not lost there is still hope even if it's just a small amount there is still hope there is still something to hold on to something to be hopeful um, about and I feel like your person feels this way even though they feel like kind of hopeless or they feel like they did you wrong or they let you down they still feel like somehow the two of you will find a way to connect here so this is someone who i feel like 
you know, someone who's let you down, someone who's hurt you here, someone who has meant a lot to you, someone who might feel like you might have been very committed to. Maybe the two of you were engaged. Maybe this is someone you were married to. Maybe this is someone whom you were, you know, you guys were speaking about getting engaged or getting married one day, you know, building a life together here. I feel like this is some this was someone who was very committed. You know, they were very committed to you, to the idea of making this work and to the idea of this connection. But it does feel like this is an energy that's pulled away. Okay? I, I don't know why, but I just feel like there was something here. For some of you, there is a possible indication of a third party situation. Okay? Now a third party doesn't necessarily mean that there may have been someone else, although for some of you I think it is that. You know, someone else, maybe this person cheated on you. Maybe this person got involved with someone else here. Maybe there was an ex that was still lingering around them here. But it feels like someone might have gotten in the way between the two of you. And in doing so, they've wedged this distance, this separation between you and this energy here. For others of you, I feel like something else got in the way here. And it could be... Why do I see like travel or something? Were some of you doing long distance with this person and was that in itself too much was that getting too much I just feel like there was something here that kind of drove the two of you apart but you guys are still energetically connected you guys are still emotionally connected here I don't think you're ready to give each other up here the Hierophant tells me that this is an energy that's coming back here this is someone who really cares for you and they care about you and I feel like this is someone who's coming back for and with commitment okay they're coming back because they want to build this life with you they want to fulfill all those visions that they shared with you they want that so they're coming back because to me it feels like this is someone whom you are going to get engaged to and you're going to get married with and this is someone whom you are going to ride off into the sunset with you will you might not see it now because it just doesn't feel like it right now it just feels like there's a lot of dark gray skies you know the sky is clouded with you know is crowded with all these of these dark with these dark clouds here of sadness of disappointment but you know the sun will peek through it just feels like things will change again i know it's hard for you to see it that way but keep the faith oh i can't pick it up keep the faith here because i feel like for a lot of you, you know, all is not lost. It's not. So this is someone who comes back and I feel like this is someone who is, you know, it feels like they've done some, they've done a lot of thinking on their own here. It feels like this is an energy who's been thinking a lot about you and about the way that they've acted and about what could have been or should have been here. And this is someone who understands that they want a life with you. They want a lifetime with you. I'm also seeing like the Hierophant is age old tradition. So I do feel like there is a marriage, uh, an engagement here. You know, a traditional ceremony that's being indicated in the cards here. It could be because you, I don't know, maybe this person is someone who, you know, upholds some religious or some cultural, spiritual traditions. And you, you might go on to have a very religious or very spiritual or rather very traditional type of wedding or ceremony here. I also feel like this person is embarking a spiritual path as well. With regards to the wedding here, or the, um, I do feel like there's going to be, it's not going to be too loud and boisterous, or at least it won't feel that way, but you will be surrounded um, with people who really love you and who, who really support the two of you, this union and the two of you coming together here. I'm getting trust here. So if trust was an issue in the relationship, I feel like this is something that you're both going to build on and you're both going to work on, okay? Because maybe the trust that you both established was broken. And once something is broken, it's just not the same. So you're going to have to repair that. You're going to have to sort of stitch it back up together, aren't you guys? But I feel like trust here is coming up um, in a very big way. Uh, the two might have to learn... The two of you might have to learn to trust each other again here. Um, I also feel like this person is determined to win you back, okay? They're determined to 
once they make up their mind, so if you haven't heard from them yet, they may not have made up their mind about you. But once they have made up their mind here, I do feel like this is someone who is determined to come towards you, is determined to win you back, win you over, is determined to show you that they've worked on themselves, okay, that they're a better man or a woman than um, they left here. The chariot is also a card of uh, victory and success. So I do feel like moving forward here, you're going to be moving forward in a very positive direction. There's no standing still for the chariot. And you've got the chariot and the eight of wands. So I guess for those of you that are doing long distance, this is good news because this is an energy that is moving in towards you. So I feel like this person, the eight of wands is air travel. This person might be traveling to see you. So they could be traveling in to see you here from a different city, state or country here. Um, and I feel like this, this is someone who... You guys right now are in two very different, like you're in opposite directions, like the Sphinxes. It just feels like maybe you're on different sides of the world or you're just both in two very different places. But once everything kind of, you know, aligns and once the two of you are kind of in flow with one another, I feel like this is when all of this is happening here. It feels like sometime around the spring or the summertime. I don't know if it's of this year or the following year or the year after the, that, the year after that. But this is where I feel like you're both going to make decisions that are going to be in alignment with each other once you sort of get in flow with one another here. I'm seeing a lot of fruition around this um, connection and I feel like the two of you are manifesting each other. Okay, This person has been thinking about you and you've been thinking about them. You might even be manifesting like dreams of them, messages of them. You will also be manifesting communication from them soon here. You're, you're still very hopeful, as are they here. And they, they still think about you, okay? If, if you wonder, you know, whether or not you cross their mind or whether or not they um, still think about you, they do. They're still very much attracted to you. They still love you, okay? They still, you know, hold you in high regard with the Queen of Wands energy. They still think that, you know, you're, you're meant to be theirs. You're, they're, they're meant for you here. There is some sort of obstacle I'm seeing that they're going to push past. Okay, let's see in part two, what is this obstacle that they're pushing past? And let's see, you know, when is it that they plan to reconnect with you? What might they come in um, and say here? So that's all going to be in part two of the reading and any other messages that come, um, that come in for you. So please follow me via the link below. For those of you interested in the personalized reading, please feel free to connect. Otherwise, thank you guys for your time, your attention and your energy. Bye for now.